you feeling? Uh, you have I feel any questions good. Before you go on? Uh, nah, no questions. I feel really good. Stance seems super cool. I'm ready for it. Interesting. What? What's up? Looks like Othello is out. Stop playing. You just tweeted that. Hold He's on. Out. Let me. No. Give me your phone. Give oh me my. Phone. Give me. Just give me a sec. Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> After spending the last seven years of my NBA career helping build this team, the city deserves blah blah blah. It is with great sadness I announced that I'll be stepping down from my role as general manager effective immediately. Give me my phone. Hold on. There's more. Uh, it has become clear in the recent days that I share a different vision for the future of this franchise than the current leadership group. Give me my phone. And we have mutually decided to part ways. I've told you that's all this. Never keep this. MP, thank you so much for coming. Her, I'm sure you've probably already heard the news by now. Focus. Yeah, right? you know, obviously. We're... Oh, looks like you got what you wanted. Hope you're ready for it. We're going to be asking you about it. Obviously, we're, we're, we're going to have to cover this. You going to change topics? Uh, <laughs> that depends, Jocelyn. Are you game to cover Othello's unfortunate departure with a fair and balanced perspective? You know how this works, Ashley. Oh. News happens. Kendrick and JJ react. I mean, I, I can't tell them what to <laughs> we say. We both know that Kendrick has a certain agenda when it comes to MB. With all due respect, you were well aware of Kendrick's views regarding your client before agreeing to this interview. So I guess I'm just trying to figure out what exactly has changed here. I'm just trying to make sure that you don't railroad my client on national television. That is not fair. We we don't railroad. We're not, we don't oh. do a gotcha oh, wait, 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 interview. Hey, 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 hey. Ashley, I appreciate your intensity, I do. But let's just take a breather. I'll answer whatever question you guys got. I have nothing to hide. Great, you're on in 30. Wish me luck. Look, your access to MP is a privilege. It's not a right. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> What is so funny? Oh, please. You should be paying us for this publicity. Your client just eviscerated his enemy and now gets to brag about it on national television. Pretty sure that's as big as a win as there is. But thank you. All right, welcome back, everybody. We are joined by the hottest story in the NBA right now, MP. MP, welcome back to the program. What's going on, fellas? Thank you for having me, man. Yeah, all right. Originally, we were going to have you talk about your epic rant from the press conference yesterday after your stellar performance, but we have just learned that your GM, Othella Akpem, has resigned, and I'd love to get your hot take on that. Yeah. I know this is a delicate topic, MP, but obviously we all saw the reports that Othella Akpem was attempting to trade you for Shep Owens. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So so my question is, how does it feel to come out on top in such a public power struggle? Now, well, hold, hold on. At the end of the day, this city is my home. These are my people, this is my team, and this is where I want to finish my career, all right? Now, Adela clearly didn't think I was the right guy for the franchise, which is very unfortunate because he's no longer going to be here. But um, from this point going forward, I'm just focused on that same goal, deliver a championship to the city. MP, you know and the world know I'm one of Shep's biggest fans. <laughs> yeah, and one of my biggest haters, too. Oh, slow down. I'm not a hater. I just call it like I see it. And right now... The way I see it, I got to eat a little crow. Because you got a mean streak in you, boy. You got that killer instinct that, quite frankly, I ain't think you had. <laughs> I mean, uh, thank you, but is there a question in there? Yeah. <laughs> Where's this version of MP been hiding? You know, uh, being a leader is just about one thing. You know, one, one day you might need to put your arm around a teammate. The next you might have to yell at him to get his head on straight, you know, kind of thing. So it's all about the person and the situation. You know, so far in my career, I haven't really had to yell at cats that much. But uh, I will say this. If you keep poking, you know, that dragon going to get let loose one day. And you're not going to like it. And speaking of killer mm. instinct, the reason we originally asked you on the show was to talk about the legendary press conference you just gave. Can you tell us a little bit about that, how you decided – that it was time to speak up for yourself so publicly. Yo, I'm the kind of guy that doesn't usually like to put myself in the spotlight. You know, like that's always been me. But giving the rumors, the, the, the innuendos, the, all the stuff, man, I decided that now is the time to really put it to rest. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like not for me, more so, but for my teammates. 
because like ever since draft night, like I was sick of it. And quite frankly, they were sick of it as well. You know, I tried to do everything that I could to quiet all the questions around me, my game, and to try to just focus on the game on the court. But apparently that wasn't enough. So quite frankly, I just had to do what needed to be done. You certainly did. And now you'll be leading the city into the future as the unquestioned cornerstone of that franchise. MP, thank you for coming by. Oh, man, anytime, man. All right. Appreciate it. Come on, Perk, bring it in. Oh, look I know you always hate him, but I wasn't expecting I mean, cool that. now, bro. We're cool now. Man, yeah, we're all right, man. We're all right. It's a lot of pressure on you. So, Freddie, what do you think? I mean, yeah. it's not bad, huh? It's really impressive. The Thank space, you. the people, the map. <laughs> hey, man, you told us to win over the city, so this is us winning it. Big mm -hmm. moves require bold action. Come on. Tactical maneuvers, military mm -hmm. precision. Mm -hmm. No, what did I tell you about those war analogies? I mean, yeah, it makes me Doesn't seem not genuine, but it's okay. Is I mean, it? We all know Ricky's heart's in the right place. Yeah, see? But he doesn't know. You guys are a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> we try, man. I mean, we try to keep the comedy flowing around here. Keep that bit. energy strong. Yeah, I can see that. I hate to be a bummer, but I and bring up something potentially uncomfortable. But I think we need to talk about Othello. It's all good, guys. It's all part of the game. Talk to me, man. Now, I want you to know how sorry we all are as an organization for the way things played out with Othello. I mean, Othello made his own decisions. It's not the team's fault. Right. Well, that being said, Ashley and I have been working on a really exciting opportunity. Consider it a little thank you from the organization. <clears throat> and from Ashley, of course. <clears throat> hey, you guys have been really doing your thing on the PR strategy, so I'm all ears. Talk to me. Have you heard of Enterprise Monthly? Who <laughs> hasn't? I mean, mm -hmm. they do all of this, what? World's richest teenager, 30, 30 disruptors under 30. 30. Yeah. Right, and once a year they do an issue on leadership where they crown the next big thing in a variety of industries. Okay. Uh, finance, of course, law, politics, science, and maybe even sports. Oh I went to school with the editor in chief and I've been in his ear about how you're creating a whole new paradigm for the athlete slash businessman. That right. could open up a whole nother world of business opportunities mm -hmm. for us. And help us move past the Othello storyline once and for all. Mm. Put the media focus where it belongs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's on your considerable achievements. Listen, that sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. I'll schedule a time for you to meet one of their reporters, Anna Nunez. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's going to see if you're a good fit because this is their best-selling issue and they make a huge deal out of it. So Amazing. if she's into your story, she'll be filming it. She'll be putting video segments online. The works. This, is, this, is, this sounds pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> Ashley, Freddie, I, I can't thank you guys enough for setting this up. Yeah. Let's get down to work. Literally what you pay us for. But yes, I will keep you posted. <laughs> What? <laughs> Nothing. It's all good. Cool. Well, now that that is settled, can we please put the piece on the map? Mm -hmm. Right God. now? Yes! yes. Um, I'm sorry, what is happening? No, all right, Fred, check well, this out. We have this tradition with the map where we mark the territory that we've won. And since MP has just established himself as the future of this franchise... <laughs> Freddy. Oh, oh. Come on, man. Don't say no. You got the honors, oh man. My God. Come on, no, come on. No, I couldn't. Come I, on. Yeah. I should Fred, okay. slam it, 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 slam it. Oh. That was very yes. gentle. No, Mila, that was a bad That's point. it? Well, I didn't, I didn't want to break anything. I got caught up in the moment. With who? That you was guys, great. you're really something. Yes. You know that? This reporter is going to have one heck of a story on her hands. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And next time, I'm going to... I'll do it. I'm gonna go all the way with it. Yeah, you. I just didn't want to break anything, so next time I'm gonna get it. Building if needed, balance, alignment, follow through. Want to be more consistent. Practice and in game. Greg, that we're into the meat of the season. Are we going to see any emerging trends out there? For a few years, uh, the trend had been guys shooting. Has to finish, and he knows it. Blowing opportunity. MP outside. 
gets in there. Davis with the assist. You know, with AD's improved, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, Kevin, I was able to catch up with the head coach of the 76ers. He told me it's always a challenge when you face a team this opportunistic. He said those guys are going to look to take advantage of any weakness. We have to feel concerned about getting outshot early on. Uh, what do you think they can do to prevent it? Well, you have to find a way to stay attached to the shooter. That means fighting through picks and helping one another. Same time. Bible kicks it to Tucker. Rejected by Payne. MP left side. In the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. Aki confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Payne in the post. Defended by Feibel. Payne's shot is good. Payne's got nine. Take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and control in the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue. And here we go. Fast break. MP's got it. LeBron dishes to Payne. And another basket for the Lakers. You know, I think the passing skills of LeBron are his greatest asset. And he's got again the miss by the Lakers. Ball's not loose. And straight down in this one. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. And Bede with a screen on Beverly. And stolen by Payne. First quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think they need to continue to press that advantage. They've got to get back there and try and fight their way back. Yeah, I love the energy they're playing with. I say it this way. Good teams, championship teams, play against the game as much as they play against the opponent. Hey, folks, welcome. The Lakers wrap up the first half in what's been a closely contested game so far. Give me Coach Gray Harris with the turnovers. It's time to slow things down. Protect the rock. Make the simple play. Dr. O'Neill, I think your diagnosis is right on the money. And now, let's focus on a couple of guys who have been getting it done in the first half. When you go up against MP, you are going to have to do a lot of work off the ball. If he gets it with any amount of space to operate, see ya, good luck. This guy has a hunger to score, almost as much as Shaq for barbecue chicken. Yes. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game, Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. Side Westbrook. A three from MP. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. And you know Payne in the post. Nice fake with the layup off the mark. And stolen by Payne. And there it is for him. The 76ers shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. So the Lakers five right now. We've got Payne. Russell Westbrook out there with Dennis Schroeder. And there's Bryant in defense right on him. And Bead in the corner. Checked by Payne. And out of bounds is the Lakers game. Good hand. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Floats it up for MP. When you play with Westbrook, you've got to be ready now. This guy is always looking to pick up an assist. Milton with the ball. Back to Tucker. And air balls the triple. That one was way off. Here's Payne. And Payne shows it in. Just solid on the one-handed slam. And goes recognizing the big possession and commanding the ball. To the middle, here's Payne. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got green on West. And a deep three from Harden. Another miss by Philadelphia. <laughs> Straight 
situation. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's in a score. Yeah, and they need it hiccup fast. I mean, they'll be drawing up a quick hitter in the huddle here, no doubt. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. He blocks it again. A, a defensive stall. Nine seconds left in the fourth. Fible for three. Capable of guarding any position. LeBron is also skilled at just contesting shots. And so the Lakers take the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Sit down? No, you stay. You sure? Just sit. Should I come back? Okay. No, no, we're good. I, I didn't want to interrupt. MP, this conversation. Have a seat. All right. I was hoping we can talk about how the Othello situation played out. Yeah, I mean, it was just business, right? <laughs> Not the way I do business. You should have heard it from me first. Itchy Twitter fingers. Yes, that was unfortunate. But I wanted to let you know you have the full support of the organization. You're the future of this team, MP, and one of its unquestioned leaders. Wow. Um. That really means a lot to hear you say that, sir. Truly. Glad to hear it. Uh, well, I've got to be elsewhere. Um, we're all very proud of how you handled the situation, MP. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Thanks, Phil. Not the most friendliest guy, huh? A little cold, but he's good people. Hey, hey, I got nothing against him, man. <laughs> so what happens next? Y'all gonna throw me a parade or put like a banner <laughs> up or something? <laughs> Hilarious. What happens next is you're gonna work harder than you've ever worked before. That's always the goal, coach. Good, good. And we're gonna do everything we can to get you there. Moving forward, I'm gonna be giving you very specific goals. So I need you to be staying in very close touch with me, okay? I mean, where am I going? <laughs> I'm just saying, the work's just starting. All right, I got you, coach. Don't even worry about it.